What did I like about the puppets? Well, actually, I hated all of them, and we made over a thousand, so you could see how you could get to loathe them. But I actually did like the puppets that really worked. The Queen was one. She was on almost every week. And eventually we managed to make a Thatcher that was, well, we made three. One for when she was angry, uh, one for when she was um, talking to you as if your dog had died, patronizing you, and uh, one in neutral, so we could change the heads. So I liked those because they worked every week. Now, sometimes they amused me, which was um, not very often. Douglas had, with his hair as an ice cream cone, was a little winner. But the puppets themselves, they would be drawn, they would then be modelled, they would then go to be moulded, the moulds would come back, you'd fill it full of road foam rubber, take the foam rubber out, dry it overnight, then you put a skull in, the eyes in, and any mechanisms that you wanted, and that would then go to the paint room and be painted, then off to wardrobe for its costume. We always had made pottery as a light relief against all the... The workshop was there, all the materials were there, and there was the Ronald Reagan coffee pot, the Mrs. Thatcher teapot, uh, the royal egg cups. You put the egg in, crack the top, and they're wearing a crown. I mean, it was all that nonsense. And, um, and I met a potter called Janis Jelenko, who introduced me to uh, ceramics as a, as a fine art. And then I really got interested, and it went from there. But when the spitting image was all over, I'd locked the factory gates and I went to Australia. And I went all over Australia and made lots of drawings and sketchbooks. I was wondering what I was going to do with them. And the obvious use was to put them on pots, design things with them on. And that's exactly what they are. And I've been living in Norfolk for full time, I would imagine about five or six years. And that's starting to happen with the pots now. You've got chroma crabs jumping about all over the place, dancing crabs. You've got mackerel everywhere. And you've got meadows with wildflower. There still are meadows with wildflower. And they're on the pots too. Well, if you live anywhere near the Sainsbury Centre, you should swerve in because although I had a lot to do with it, I think it's a bit of a laugh.